Uh, mate, you had a decent break in the States, I believe. Um, obviously a good time. Yeah, it was. Um, two weeks over uh, in New York and we had um, Christmas over there, which was really good. My older brother um, turning 30 and wanted to go and um, yeah, the whole family jumped on board. So I had mum and dad and three brothers and all the partners. So yeah, it was great. A pretty tough time at training before Christmas, so obviously good to have that break. Yeah, it was, and um, you know, probably, you know, with this year, um, you know, the World Cup on and, and the season being pushed a, a bit later on, it probably allowed it to get away and, and um, you know travel a bit further. And um, you know, we're back now, and we've still got eight or nine weeks before NAB Cup, so it's pretty much um, you know almost a full pre-season ahead of us. Yeah, well, other boys looking out there, mate. They look like the ball's humming around a lot. It's looking like a really good quality. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, probably the only thing we're missing at the moment is a couple of the big fellas out there. But um, you know, around the midfield, uh, all the guys are fit and firing and and moving really well. It's just probably lacking a couple of tall guys at each end. Um, but good to see Drury go out there for the the you know a little bit today, which was nice to see and um, get Big Brownie and, and a couple of others back in there. Um, and then um, yeah, really, really make a difference to the way training goes. Mate, so who's impressed you most on the track? I'd probably say Sean Higgins. Um, yeah, I've you know seen a couple of boys have um, you know talked about him um, recently, but yeah, just the way he moves and um, you know really has a crack and and he's got great skills. Uh, every time he gets the ball and looks up, he, he usually hits a target. Has he surprised you at all? You've obviously seen him from an opposition standpoint, but he's come in and really made an impact. Yeah, I, I suppose I didn't realise he's probably a bit um, bigger than what I thought he was. Um, you know, he goes in and, and you know really has a crack at the footy and. Um, you know, works really hard. So yeah, he, he's he's been super impressive. Um, you know, hopefully, you know, he can continue on and and he's going to be a you know real handy addition for us. You compare this squad to perhaps when you arrived at the club or a couple of years after you arrived at the club, we were sort of struggling down the bottom and the ladder. Just compare this squad now and the competition for spots and the quality of the squad. Yeah, just you know, I reckon three to four years ago, um, you know, he's probably had a lot of the same guys, but just so much younger. Um, whereas now the guys know what they're doing. They go out there. Um, you know, the, the level of training and the intensity of training is really lifted, um, you know, from, from day one, um, you know, you don't have to pull them back too much and, and have a spray at them because they go out there and they, they know what to do and, um, you know, it's, it's probably just a bit more relaxed around the place um, because, yeah, guys are, are given a responsibility to go and do it um, and they do it. I feel like there's any pressure on the team last year, obviously making a prelim last year, everyone's going to be expecting us to take another step. Oh, I think there's pressure every year. Um, you know, Hawthorne would be feeling that pressure to, to go again. Uh, so, yeah, it was it was I think you know great to get to a prelim, but we you know we walked away from that still bitterly disappointed about the the result. And um, although we're happy to get there, we were shown up, um, and we know how much work we need to continue to do. And um, you know, really try and push our name up higher on the ladder, and, and you know, really try and get a, a couple of home finals. Um, that's what the best teams do to be able to get there and, and play good footy on the final um, day in um, September or October this year. What about the Achilles, mate? Obviously, you had a full pre-season this year. You didn't have that benefit last year. How important is that going to be? Yeah, it's you know, it's probably taken a um, a little bit to you know get my running back up to where it was probably prior to um, the Achilles. But yeah, it's just been handy to be able to get back in and, and just get the, the Ks under the belt. Um, you know, I really wanted to go over to Utah and, and use that as a, a sort of building block and um, struggled a bit over there, but uh, felt the benefits, you know, came back in and, and pretty much from, from day one since we've been back here at Arden Street, I've, I've felt good and uh, moving around and, you know, touch wood, I can stay injury free and, and hopefully have a real crack at the NAB Cup and then into the season. If you were to make a comparison between last year and this year as to where the body's at? Oh, so much, um, you know, further ahead, like I didn't start running uh, until well after um, now, sort of, sort of January, end of January, early February was, you know, when I actually started running. So to be running around now, feeling fit, doing all the drills, um, pretty much every part of training, um, yeah, I'm miles ahead. Perfect, mate. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. Cheers, Peter. Thanks, mate. No